Thank you very much. You're, you're a lovely audience and you really do deserve me. Now, just for a moment, I'd like to talk to you about football because I, I really love the football. I mean, I go down every week. I said to me mate the other week, I said, are you coming to the football? He said, well, he said, Cole, he said, you know what the wife's like. I said, don't worry about the wife, mate, it's footy season. Go home, say to the wife, I'm going to the footy. If she says, no, you're not, take her upstairs, pull down her knickers, put her over your knee. Well, I saw him that night at the pub, I said, you weren't at the football, mate. I said, what happened? He said, well, I did what you said, Carl. I, I went home. I said to the wife, I'm going to the footy. She said, no, you're not. So I took her upstairs, I pulled down her knickers. And I thought, well, I could always watch the replay. <laughs> when you think about it, it's a little bit confusing, I feel it is. I mean... I want you to use your imagination now. I mean, what would it be like for a guy who's just immigrated to Australia all the way from Ethnia? Well, Jeff, you know, he's right next door to Italy. He comes here, he's been here three days, and his first social outing is a game of Aussie rules at the MCG in Melbourne. Now, I think this would be how he would describe a game of Aussie rules. Hang on, I'll just put the hat on. Hang on. I come to Australia. Me and Mama and Giuseppe. We, we go to the MCG. That means men kick a goals. We go to see a game of Aussie rules of football. Six blocks come on the field dressed in white. All except for one block who's got black socks. He's the block who owns the ball. <laughs> His name is a high you bloody mug. <laughs> the other blocks are a high you bloody mug's bodyguards. <laughs> this whole pack of other blocks come running on the field dressed in ski jackets. <laughs> but these blocks are not so nice. As they come onto the field, the black children stream. Hi, <laughs> you bloody mug gets a little bit mad. He calls over two of the minor fingers. But these blogs don't have no notice of a hi, you bloody mug. They walk away and have a gum two up. <laughs> the block who wins the two up points at this end of the field. The other block points at this end of the field. All the other blocks in the ski jumpers get all confused. They wander all over the field. Maybe they look for the coin. The block who wins the two up tells the high you bloody mug who won. High you bloody mug gets a summer. He throws his ball away. This block in a ski jumper shoot through with his ball. Now, how you bloody mug change his mind? He wants his ball back. Yes, he, he chases this block in a ski jumper. But this block is only teasing a high you bloody mug. He sees a high you bloody mug come and he kick the ball. He kicked the ball at one of High You Bloody Mug's bodyguards. <laughs> but this bodyguard is not so good. He sees the ball come. He gets frightened. And he wipes flag and surrender. <laughs> the ball, she goes into the crowd. And the crowd is screaming and it cheers. <laughs> But they don't give the ball back to the blocker with the flag. No, they don't trust. They give the ball to one of a high you bloody mugs at the bodyguard. And the crowd is a good judge. Because this block tags the ball back to high you bloody mug. High you bloody mug is so happy. But then he changes mind and throws ball away again. This big, tall block jump up and hit the ball. This little short block catch the ball, kick the ball. And this other block jump up and catch the ball. Now I'm a thing to myself. 
Hi, you bloody mug. Is a union representative. <laughs> yes, he blows his whistle. They have a stop work meeting. <laughs> These blokes standing next to me say, Hey, he is a blind. <laughs> I feel so sorry for hi, you bloody mug. <laughs> These bloke on the other side of me say, Hey, don't you worry. He is the one I. <laughs> He's a guy too high. <laughs> I say to this block, excuse me, uh, what do you say? He said to me, hey, whose side are you on? I said, hi, you bloody man. <laughs> when I pick myself up off the ground, <laughs> see this block standing next to me say, Oh, excuse me. I'm a go for a snipe. I can't find the reptile cage. I come back at this block who walk past me with a try. He said, oh, You want the pie and the dead horse? Oh, I know you got trouble with a kangaroo meat, so I don't touch. Just today. And here I'd sound she sounds. I can't see no plants. I tell you what, I really want to be a dinky dowsy. I'm going back to the MCG, but I'm not talking to no money. No, because when I'm leaving the field, I hear ten blocks say, we was bloody wrong. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.